Breaking news, a game-changing threat from North Korea. Could Guam be the target of a nuclear weapon? Good evening, everyone. It has been a very busy night in our newsroom. At this hour, we know the North Koreans are looking at plans to attack the U.S. territory. Uh, ABC's Emily Rao reports on the president's chilling warning to Kim Jong-un. An explosive threat from President Trump. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. The chilling warning in response to Kim Jong-un's threat to make the U.S. pay dearly following tough new U.N. sanctions. He has been very threatening uh, beyond a normal statement. ABC News confirmed a Washington Post report that U.S. intelligence analysts believe North Korea can now produce a miniaturized nuclear warhead that can fit inside its intercontinental missiles. This is the most momentous day in his nuclear program. Just 10 days ago, Kim Jong-un launched an ICBM into space. Analysts concluding the missile trajectory could potentially reach the east coast of the United States, including New York and Washington, D.C. What remains unknown? Whether North Korea has tested the smaller nuclear warhead and if it could survive re-entry. The worst thing we could do is panic and respond to this with a bad move like military action. But late Tuesday, North Korea's state-run news agency announcing the regime is carefully examining plans to attack Guam to contain U.S. bases there. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington. All right, we are continuing to follow those developments. Obviously, overseas, all of this unfolding as polls show Americans are increasingly nervous about North Korea. One poll found 61% of Americans are uneasy about President Trump's handling of the situation. There is a lot more to the Guam threat. Evan Milward is on your side, putting it in perspective for us. Look, North Korea knows U.S. TV networks are going to pick this up and talk about it for a long time. But this isn't the first time the Hermit Kingdom has made a threat like this against Guam. They did something similar as recently as 2013. Guam is strategically important for the United States Armed Forces. But for a military looking to act on a threat and make a statement, it's a very small target. Guam is just 210 square miles out in the Pacific. It has a population just shy of 163,000. For comparison, that is a smaller area than Boone County with a population that's comparable to Kenton County. Oh. But it is home to a U.S. military base. Both the Navy and Air Force have forces there. And when the U.S. sent two B-1 bombers to the Korean Peninsula after a North Korean missile test last month, they took off from Anderson Air Force Base. You know, don't forget the impact aggression has on South Korea, a key U.S. partner. North Korea has a large amount of artillery right on its border. That's just about 30 miles from the major metropolitan area of Seoul, right? So for comparison here, 30 miles gets us from the Ohio River in downtown Cincinnati to Middletown across much of our viewing area. Craig?